does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. WikiLeaks out with a document dump, some 8,000 documents uh, that detail CIA efforts uh, to, to spy. Unlike the Edward Snowden leaks back in 2013 that revealed the National Security Agency was in fact spying on average Americans, today's document dump by WikiLeaks is about the tools and tactics being used by the Central Intelligence Agency to break into or circumvent various communication technologies. It looks like a very extensive file of the tactics, techniques, procedures, targets, and political rules under which the Central Intelligence Agency conducts its computer network exploitation. So this is a big trove of documents describing a lot of software that can get into pretty much any modern electronic device that you may own, a phone, a computer, even your smart TV, the TVs that you can uh, connect to the internet and access YouTube. British Intel agencies developed a way to take controls of televisions connected to the internet, making it appear the TV was off when in fact it was recording conversations in the room. WikiLeaks reportedly admits the documents came from within the CIA, and that is a problem. This looks very detailed, and everything we're hearing from the intelligence community is it's, it's authentic. The documents really uh, demonstrated what a lot of us have been saying all along, that this that we carry around in our pockets is actually a listening device, and of course the modern ones you can't turn off. Every Windows system in the world, every Android system and every iOS system. The CIA could instantaneously get into your operating system through a secret back door. We weren't thinking, oh, this is how the government can monitor every single thing we do, every single one of us, forever. Oh, and that television, oh, and that car that's now going to be controlled or they're not going to have a driver. Now if they want to assassinate somebody, they can just run the car off the road. The computer chip in a microwave in your kitchen when the door is open, yep can be accessed wirelessly as a listening device. Mm. Who's doing the accessing? None of us are safe from spying on any aspect of our lives. If they wanted to watch you, listen to you, read your emails, your text messages, your look at your contacts, listen to your voice, watch you, piece of cake. They can see and hear everything we do everywhere if they want to, and if they can, they probably are. There is no such thing as absolute privacy in America. Former director Michael Hayden defended the CIA on late night television. I can tell you that these tools would not be used against an American. We just Why we just, not? Why wouldn't they be used against an American? Americans are the ones who buy the Samsung TVs. Um, there are some bad people in the world who have Samsung TVs too. If we remember, Snowden revealed how the National Security Agency had the ability and was looking at the at communication records of millions of Americans you know, many not even suspected of a crime. The bulk of the CIA uh, hacking was not done against a, a foreign power or a, a hostile power even, unless each individual American citizen is viewed as a hostile power. It was done against us, American citizens, American industry. Here's a very disturbing thing that I wish the FBI uh, would look at. We learned about a collaboration between Samsung South Korean uh, electronics manufacturer whose CEO and chair has just been indicted in South mm -hmm. Korea for bribery and MI5, the British intelligence, to allow MI5 to watch Americans in the United States when the television Wait set is off. Wait a minute is right. This has gone way beyond what uh, George Orwell had ever anticipated when he wrote 1984. Way beyond that. Because in 1984, you could hide in the corner of the room, which is where uh, the hero or anti-hero of the novel wrote his diary. There is no place in America outside of judicial reach. That's the bargain. Judicial reach is one thing. Hearing and seeing what's happening in the bathroom, that's quite another. Who's spying on Americans unlawfully? Is it the CIA, which is not allowed to spy in the United States? Is it MI5, which is not allowed to spy in the United States? And are there foreign electronics firms involved in this? They're not allowed to collaborate with sure. foreign spies to spy in the United so States. We're worried about being attacked over the Internet. You make your machines Internet disconnected. That's what most uh, police uh, networks do, for example, uh, or networks that are inside um, companies, say, like uh, Boeing. Uh, they disconnect their networks so that hackers, they think, can't attack them. 
but the CIA has created uh, a number of viruses, one, for example, called Hamadryl, which are air gap jumping viruses. This particular one, Hamadryl, sits on a computer, a Windows computer, waiting until someone goes to burn a CD-ROM, puts software on a CD-ROM and jumps onto the CD-ROM, infects the executable, the programs that you put on the CD-ROM. So then when it goes somewhere else, it then infects the computer and it starts a, starts a channel. This software attacks smartphones. It doesn't matter what encryption you're running on it, whether it's Telegram or Signal or Confide, it can bypass that encryption. It can turn on the microphones. Uh, it can monitor movements, it can uh, activate the camera to look at the fo photos that have been taken. Everyone, everyone who has a smartphone, a mobile device, a laptop or, or a desktop computer is being electronically monitored, knowing where we, where we are, what we're saying, what we look like, uh, are we having sex with our spouse, um, who are my contacts, who did I last call, how long did I call and what did I say. Among the programs, according to the New York Times and others, we've seen some of these documents. Another program described in the documents is called Umbridge, is a voluminous library of cyber attack techniques that the CIA has collected from malware produced by other countries, including Russia. According to the WikiLeaks release, the large number of techniques allows the CIA to mask the origin of some of its cyber attacks and confuse forensic investigators. It appears that CIA hackers would cover their tracks by leaving electronic trace suggesting the hacks came from Iran, China, or Russia instead of the United States. And let me say this, and, and I don't know if Bill will agree with me or not, ATP 2829, the so-called Russian uh, tool that we used to hack the DNC, Sean, we did it, not me, but our, our guys, former members of NSA, retired intelligence officers, use these tools to break in there and get the information and, out. And, That's and what the Democrats don't want to talk about because it doesn't fit their narrative. You know narrative. that for a fact? You know the Democrats did it or the, that former operatives did it using the malware techniques that they put the Russians' fingerprints on Sean, it and the make it appear like the yes. Russians. In other words, you're telling me this whole Russian story that the media has been running with for months and months and months, that it was our people that did it and they it, just put the fingerprints of the Russians on it? It? That's, pro that's right. There was no such wiretap activity. WikiLeaks uh, discovered the material as a result of it being passed around a number of different uh, members of the U.S. intelligence community out of control in an unauthorized fashion. The CIA does have a history of, of attacking not only uh, the political parties uh, uh, operating overseas. We just published how the Central Intelligence Agency uh, issued instructions to its staff to penetrate the last French election cycle in 2012, last French president, uh, presidential election, uh, it has a habit uh, of behaving badly inside the United States as well. That means that everybody in the, in the world, including all of us here in the U.S., are still sitting there all vulnerable to attacks. Right. And, they, and, so and they're doing so it as, as, you're saying they're doing it as a matter of course, and that's why you yes, left uh, after 32 exactly. years at the NSA. There's absolutely nothing to stop uh, a random CIA officer uh, or contractor or liaison uh, agent working for the British uh, using that technology against whoever they like, for whatever personal reasons they like. The technology is designed to be unaccountable. It's designed to be untraceable. It's designed to hide itself. It's designed to... Uh, to remove traces of its activity. Well, the CIA just a few hours ago issued this statement to Fox News. Julian Assange is not exactly a bastion of truth and integrity. WikiLeaks now, they have a track record. They've not been wrong in all their years of existence. Right. They've not been proven wrong one time. We fight for media accuracy, having obtained a perfect record in the last 10 years. It's one of our comparative advantages. Edward Snowden, who has been quiet lately, tweeted out today, what makes this look real? Program and office names such as JOJ, uh, IOC, Crypt Series are real. Only a cleared insider could know them. Our sources step forward to us uh, so we can tell you uh, what has been going on. And so uh, the various uh, uh, manufacturers like Apple, uh, Google, and so on, uh, can start to develop countermeasures. Hearing these calls from um, some of the manufacturers, uh, we have decided to uh, work with them uh, to give them some exclusive access uh, to the additional technical details we have uh, so that fixes uh, can be 
developed uh, and pushed out so people can be secured. These types of cyber weapons are used to attack the communication technology that journalists use to communicate with their sources and with each other. The sorts of technology uh, that investigative reporters reporting on the national security sector, reporting on war crimes, use uh, to communicate their information within their media organization uh, and back and forth with their sources. We are shifting significantly away from one CIA officer directing one hacker uh, who attacks one target. Rather, we're seeing uh, systems developed and whole branches of the Central Intelligence Agency to automate uh, attacks and infestations of CIA malware into targets. They're talking about more powerful surveillance techniques than even the NSA without checks and balances. Correct. The, the fact that they build a cyber attack arsenal, that $100 billion came from the Obama years, and that it implies that every single electronic device, they are capable of hacking and spying through, and even turning TVs into listening devices. Do you believe that? Do you think the CIA has that capability? And if they do, if there's no check and balance, doesn't that mean we're all potentially subject to living in a police state where the government at will can spy on whoever they want, bribe, a, blackmail, do whatever they want with that? That's scary. That is a danger of, of having this. And unfortunately, Sean, this is one of those few times I cannot comment on what you're asking me. That I, 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 you know, I used to do this for a living. I will say this. I think some of those things are even more powerful than, than you know, than you listed. Given the information that was just put out, who would you say our biggest enemy is? Our enemy. We, as U.S. citizens. Has the Russia done this to us? No, not to my knowledge. Please, people, wake up. Our government has done this to us. It's a real question whether in practice there can be meaningful oversight. I don't think there can be. I think it's an illusion uh, that there can be meaningful oversight, although one has to try.